Sellers, AC here. Welcome to another review. Today I'm reviewing a fragrance which is considered by experts as one of the finest or most authentic, I should say, one of the most authentic notes of Mysore sandalwood. Mysore sandalwood is almost impossible to get hold of because it's a controlled commodity in India. And Mysore, if you didn't know, is a region in India, as a, a city in India. And in fact, the whole south of India is famous for amazing sandalwood, but Mysore sandalwood is just outstanding. And it's a controlled commodity. It used to be very widely available till the late 80s, 90s. And then from then on, it was driven to almost brink of extinction. And hence, Mysore sandalwood is such a sought after commodity, very hard to get hold of. Indian sandalwood, on the other hand, is quite widely available and most fragrances nowadays use Indian sandalwood or a, uh, a mixture of compounds designed to emulate Indian sandalwood. Mysore sandalwood, different story. This fragrance is by a house called Lorenzo Villoresi Firenze, Florence. And the name of the fragrance is Sandalo. This was released in 1995, I believe. And the perfumer is Lorenzo Villoresi. Handcrafted fragrances, natural. And I've got three bottles from this house. All three are masterpiece fragrances. This is artistic perfumery at its very finest. I've already reviewed one of them. It's called Acqua di Colonia. It's a very Italian style, cologne style, fresh, masculine. This one, is a sandalwood fragrance in a class of its own. This is the kind of fragrance that Zerzhov's Richwood tries to emulate, or even, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Chanel's Egoist tries to emulate. Uh, this one came after Egoist, so it doesn't try to emulate, but this is in the same territory. They don't smell similar, but it's very multi layered, rich fra sandalwood fragrance with a lot of depth. So, how does it start? So, let's start. These fragrances are. As I said, they are an absolute delight to wear. So let me spray it in some other region because I've got to dry down. I applied it in the afternoon, about seven, eight hours dry down. Okay, wow, okay. It's very, very spicy. When you first spray it, it's very spicy and it's very lavendery and it's very bitter. Wow, it's very bitter, okay? So the top notes, I looked at them and it's got Brazilian rosewood. So it's very woody. You smell sandalwood and it smells like the base note of sandalwood, miso sandalwood. Now, miso sandalwood or sandalwood is extracted differently. The top notes are extracted first, that's what you smell in most fragrances. Then come the middle notes and then come the base notes. The base note of a sandalwood or miso sandalwood is bitter and it's very, it smells something that has come from the ground. Okay, it's oud like quality to it and that's what you smell here. And it's very spicy. If you don't didn't know better, you'd think you're smelling oud. There's no oud in this. It smells like exactly like the base of Mysore sandalwood. Wow. Amazing. Breathtaking, really. If you like sandalwood and if you like Mysore sandalwood. Amazing. The bitterness goes away, the spiciness tones down, and Brazilian rosewood and lavender shine with sandalwood, and there's this freshness to it, almost as if light and dark are working together and that freshness is orange and neroli. A little bit soapy as well. This fragrance is very, very strong. That's why I put just one spray and it's multi-layered. It's very rich. The base uh, of the fragrance or the middle of the fragrance brings in sandalwood. I'm smelling it right from the word go. <clears throat> and that sandalwood is coupled with the rose. Rose basically plays that brightening part. It's very dark and rich. So brightening part is with rose and there is, I think, orange. I don't smell any orange, but I explain the part of brightening up the scent. And there's petit grain. Petit grain, the fragrance brings in that Italian cologne style barbershop element. And there's a little barbershop element to this fragrance. Lavender, petit grain, neroli. You have that barbershop feel about this fragrance. And that's why I think these are in the these two are in the same who same same genre. genre. Um, they have this barbershop feel about themselves. The most magical part about this fragrance is its dry down. The fragrance becomes 
very resonous and thick and rich and very complex as it progresses and the fragrance in the bass brings in notes like opoponax i was not expecting it that's the the note which makes the fragrance absolutely rich sumptuous beautiful and along with that there's this sister slabnum note which makes the fragrance resinous and ambery warm the fragrance is warm throughout and there's grassy dryness to it petty grain vetiver and clean so you can imagine this fragrance has got so many facets so many notes so much depth it's fascinating this fragrance is amazing if you're a sandalwood lover you need to try sandalo so upsides and downsides number one pro if you like rich fragrances unique fragrances you cannot be without sandalo and you don't need to spend as much money as zerja of richwood uh, uses why i keep using referencing richwood is i forgot to mention the base of this fragrance has patchouli and patchouli is really rich and dark and earthy and that patchouli becomes evident and it's dry down spicy spiciness of patchouli and rich earthiness and this fragrance is something else you know it's a different planet so that's why I keep referencing Zerge of Richwood. Richwood does the same thing. It has this very rich, dark sandwood patchouli combination in space, but it goes in the territory of Coromandel by Chanel. This one doesn't. So if you like complex, multi-layered, authentic experience from a niche, you cannot be without this. That's the number one pro. Number two pro, the fragrance has a story to tell you about sandalwood. And that story doesn't include just the top note of sandalwood, which is what every fragrance does. It's a very unique composition and it's been masterfully uh, executed. And that's the strength of Lorenzo Villoresi. Everything I've tried from this house has a story, a beautiful story, unique story. And it doesn't smell like tons of other fragrances I've referenced to, Egoist and Richwood. It doesn't smell like them. It's the same kind of genre, if you like. Number three, the performance of this fragrance is spectacular, but it doesn't project as much as it does initially. Natural ingredients uh, kind of do that to you, uh, to a fragrance. So this fragrance is wears close to the skin after about three or four hours, but the longevity is like 12 hours, and sandalwood has phenomenal longevity. If you apply real natural sandalwood oil to your skin, it'll stick to your skin for the whole day. It wouldn't go away. Downside. This fragrance is a very contemplative fragrance. This is a rich, dark, slightly broody, slightly intellectual kind of a fragrance. This fragrance speaks to me as if I'm speaking to a very learned man with very little sense of humor. So this fragrance can be one of those fragrances which might disappoint you if you go and rush and buy it in hope of getting a compliment or a very pleasant kind of a crowd pleaser. This is anything but a crowd pleaser. This fragrance is more about serious, depth, sensible, uh, not sensible, but um, sort of somebody who is, um, you know, a person who's got a lot of substance to him. That's the kind of fragrance. This is rich in wisdom, knowledge kind of a person. Yeah, that's the kind of person. It's not an entertainer, if you see what I mean. That's the number one. The uh, second thing is lack of projection after about one or two hours makes it a very private kind, private kind of fragrance, but very rich. So that could disappoint some people because sandalwood normally tends to wear close to skin, but it's very rich. So it will sit very close to your skin, but you do this and you get stunned by the thing that is going on in, on your skin. And that's what this fragrance does. It sits close to the skin. Compliment factor could be the other downside. I can't see you getting a compliment wearing this, neither did I. These sort of fragrances are not made for compliments. They're made for an experience. That's what you should keep in mind. So, occasions to wear. This smells brilliant in, in between weather, spring and autumn. Amazing. In winter when I wear this, I get this musty cupboard smell, old cupboard smell from sandalwood. And sandalwood does that. Even Egoist does that in winter. But I wear this egoist and this in in between weather, and it smells absolutely lush, beautiful. Yeah, I I'll I'll never get bored of this fragrance. I'll never get bored of singing praises of this fragrance. It's absolutely amazing. Um, age groups. This is an intellectual brooding scent, not brooding, but intellectual reserved kind of fragrance. If you have that personality and you're 20 year old, not a problem. 
Yeah, you can wear this. Um, Complement factor I've covered, seasons I've covered, performance I've covered, price. This thing is going to cost you about £100, maybe £150. It depends on where you get it. But I'm telling you, what you're getting for £100 or £150 even is nothing. What the experience and the richness and the complexity this fragrance brings to the table is, you know, Zerge of Rich Richwood is like £500 fragrance. This thing can beat Zerge of Richwood any day of the week. So value for money for me is absolutely tremendous. This is an amazing fragrance, yeah? Marks out of 10, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Reason I'm removing one mark, lack of wearability, you know, versatility. Oh yes, I forgot to cover. Versatility, low. You know, you wanna wear this when you are in a professional setting or by yourself. Don't wear this to a date, trying to impress a woman by appearing a bit more intellectual than you are. Those sort of shallow things are not for this fragrance, yeah? So lack of wearability is the only reason I'm removing one mark. I wouldn't want to wear this in a social uh, sort of a situation. It's quite serious. Work is fine, interview is okay, by yourself is fine, in, in company of your closest friends is fine, yeah? So nine out of 10, hope you like the review, fellas. Take care, bye-bye.